Photoshop plugins will improve your retouching game by 80%. As a retoucher, our job is to make images look good. Most of all, we want to make the image look good with less stress and less effort and also save a lot of time in the process of making the image look good. That is why I present these three plugins to you. Number one, the Imagenic plugin. Number two, the Retouch of Me plugin. And number three, the Retouching Academy plugin. So what's the point of having these plugins if you don't actually know how to use them? Let's start with the Imagenic plugin. Now this Imagenic plugin actually has three options. So if I come to Filter, come to Imagenic, now you can see we have the Noise Wear, which you can actually use to remove noise from an image. We have the portraiture plugin which you can use to smoothen out your image and we have this rig right here which you can actually use to add greens to your image and at the same time also color grade your image now let's start with the noise reduction so if i zoom in this image you can see this image has a lot of noise on it so with this imagenic noise reduction you can actually reduce the noise of your image so this is how you use it after you duplicate your layer just come to your filter come to imagenic I click on noise wear right here like this now you have a lot of options right here let me just take it to the face so you can see the side by side before and after okay all right let me zoom in a little bit now we have a lot of options right here if you just click on this preset it's on default right now but you can see there are different options right here or you can just play with the sliders to remove the noise levels so if i take this slider up and also come to this luminous under this details protection and just take it up and also take the color up and also take the sharpen up a little bit like this now this one right here on the right is the before and this one right here is the after so once you feel you're okay with the noise reduction just click on okay and just going to apply right now so you can see this is the before you can see the noise and the after the before and the after now next thing we have is the portraiture which is the skin smoothing now let me show you how that works so let me just delete this layer for the noise and create another layer by pressing on ctrl j and then we want to smoothen out the skin of this image i'll just go to my filter again click on imagenic and click on portraiture right here so from here we have three options we have the normal we have the medium and we have the strong and you also have different sliders which you can also play with it manually but for me, I just click on this medium right here and just use the medium. So let me just zoom in so you can actually see the before and after the effect of the portraiture. So let's look at the laps right here. Okay, now you can see this one right here is the before and this one right here is the after. Now if you feel the medium is not strong enough, just click on strong right here. I'm just going to add the strong effects to it. So this is the before and the after. And also you also have sliders right here. You can just move this fan up like this and also move this medium up like this and this smoothing to 100 percent like this now this is the before and the after as you can see right here now after you are done just make sure your new layer right here is selected and click on ok i just going to apply and we've automatically smoothened out the skin of this image so you can see this is the before and the after portraiture before portraiture after portraiture so take a look at the face before portraiture after portraiture now take a look at the laps before portraiture and after portraiture so let's say you are retouching your wedding and you have a lot of image to retouch you can actually use this portraiture plugin to actually retouch the whole image instead of doing frequency operation and try to smoothen out the skin with mixer brush now that you can do if you feel the effect is too much you can just come to your portraiture layer which is this first layer right here the before and after and just bring down the opacity a little bit if you feel it's too much now if you feel this portraiture is amazing just wait until you see what the retouch for me can do it's going to blow your mind because you can basically retouch your image in just one click with the retouch for me we are going to get there later in this video still on the imagenic plugin there's an option called the real grain where you can actually add grains to your image and at the same time color grade your image though i never really use it but it's good to have options now this is how you use it just come to your filter again come to imagenic plugin and click on real grains right here now there are a lot of options right here it's just going to add greens to your image so you can just increase the intensity of the greens the color of the greens you want to add from here and also you can choose the type of greens you want to add to your image so there are different options right here you can see green style so film green digital noise so the one you want to add and also there's green balance so just play with option 
and see what you want to add to your image. So if you want to add that greens to your image or noise to your image, you can also use the Imagenic plugin to add greens or noise to your image. And not just that, you can color grade your image from here. So you just come to colors right here. And you can see different color option right here. So if I just move the hue of the red, it's just going to affect the whole image. And also the saturation like that, like that. But I really don't use this option right here, but it's good to have the option. And once you feel you're done, just click on OK. But I don't really use this. I'm going to cancel this one right here. So what I usually use is the portraiture to smoothen out my skin. I use that a lot. Now moving on to the second plugin. This plugin literally saved me. Let me tell you guys a quick story. When I started retouching, I have no idea how to create any action inside of Photoshop. But because I have this plugin, I really don't need to create action, especially the focus portion action and the jabon action, because this next plugin actually did everything for me from scratch. And this plugin is called the Retouching Academy or Beauty Retouch. If you're a retoucher and you just get it started, this plugin is a must-have because it already has everything you need to retouch an image and here is how it works. If you want to remove blemishes from your image or use your mixer brush to smooth out your image, all you have to do is to just come to your windows right here after you've installed this plugin, come to your windows, come to extension and click on beauty retouch right here. Once you click on beauty retouch, the first thing you have to do is to duplicate your layer right here by pressing on ctrl J and if you want to remove the blemishes, just come to your focus separation. You can use Gaussian Blur or Medium Blur, anyone. But I try to use focus separation via Gaussian Blur. So I'm going to click on it. And for this image right here, I'm going to use a radius of 3. I click on OK. All right. Now we have different layer open for us. Now we have the low frequency which consists of the colors and the high frequency which consists of the textures. Since blemishes are textures, I'll make sure my high frequency layer is selected, which is this first one right here. And pick my close stamp tool. Once I pick my close time tool, make sure current layer is selected and not current and below. Make sure your current layer is actually selected. I want to point it out, but make sure your current layer is actually selected. Alright, now after that, just press alternate on your keyboard to sample from the close by area and just paint over the blemishes which you want to remove like so. Alternate to sample and paint over the blemishes you want to remove. So if I just zoom in, you can see. This is the before. You can see those blemishes right there and this is the after. So that's how it works if you want to use it to remove your blemishes. Now if you want to use the mixer brush tool to actually smooth out your skin. So just pick your mixer brush tool. And once you pick your mixer brush tool, come back to this your layer right here. If you're using the Retouching Academy, make sure your corrective tool is selected. Once that is selected, just turn off your high frequency layer right here. So click on it and turn it off. Now we have only the colors of the image. Now for my mixer brush settings, my weight is on 30. My load is on 20, my flow is on 20, and sample earlier is checked. It's very important. Make sure your sample earlier is checked because we are working directly on this corrective tune layer right here. And after that, just use your square bracket key to increase and decrease your brush size. And you can zoom in and just paint on your highlights separately with your mixer brush tool. Paint on your middle separately and brush on your shadow separately to smoothen out the skin of your subject or your image. So just do it like that for the whole of the image. Make sure you are increasing and decreasing your brush size. So let me just quickly do this and show you the before and after so you can see the effect. Okay. Okay. Now let's quickly see the before and after. So this is the before and the after. The before and the after. You can see the skin is looking smooth right now. And let me just show you the very before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. Now another thing I do after using my Mesa brush tool to smooth out the skin. Going back to the Imagenic portraiture, so I'm just going to merge this corrective tool and this low frequency colors together. So with my corrective tool selected, hold control, click on this low frequency, press on control E to merge them. Once I merge them, I'll come back to my filter, I'll come to Imagenic and I'll come to portraiture. Once I come to my portraiture, I'm going to click on medium and just click on OK. Now this way, it's just going to add a bit of smoothing to only the colors of the image. Only the colors, not going to affect the textures. So this is the before and the after. So basically, that's how I also use the Imagenic portraiture to smoothen out my image after doing the frequency separation and also using the mixer brush to smooth out the skin. Now, that's not all you can do with this retouching academy right here. We also have options for dodge and burn. So if I want to do micro dodge and burn or global dodge and burn, all I have to do is click on this dodge and burn curves right here. I'm just going to run dodge and burn action for me from scratch. But I really don't need this corrective tool because I'm not doing micro dodge and burn. I want to do global dodge and burn. 
So I'm going to delete this visual aid layer right here. Once I delete that visual aid layer, under this layer, I have my dodge and burn layer. Now, if I want to do my global dodge and burn, I'll come to my dodge, pick my normal brush tool, make sure my flip set to 100, opacity 100, and just draw lines like this on the highlights for the dodge. So on the highlight part, like so. And also for the bone, I come to the bone and just draw lines like this for the shadow area as well as the side of the nose. Also like this for the shadow areas like that below the neck. After that, I'm going to do, I'm just going to feather it. So I'll come to my properties right here. If you can find properties right here, just come to your windows and click on properties right here. Okay. Now with my bone layer selected, I'm just going to feather it like so. And also come to my dodge, come to properties again and just feather it again like this. Okay. Now see the before and the after, the before and the after. So if you feel it's too much, you can just reduce the opacity or just feather it even more to your liking. Okay. So Michael Dodge Abon and Focus Separation is not the only thing you can do with this Retouching Academy. There are many things you can do with this Retouching Academy. In fact, there are many options right here. And I have a whole playlist dedicated to the Retouching Academy. And I'll be leaving the links to that playlist in the screen below. So you can watch that playlist and learn everything about the Retouching Academy after you finish watching this video. Because I saved the best for the last. Now this last plugin, I highly recommend it. Removing blemishes and doing Michael Dodge Abon has never been easier. This plugin is called the Retouch For Me. And here is how it works. Literally, I can just retouch my image with just one click. All I have to do is just duplicate my background layer by pressing on Ctrl J. Come to my action. And just click on retouch for me right here. Now this plugin will automatically remove the blemishes for me. At the same time, do my micro dodge and burn and the result is amazing. And not just that, it's going to do my global dodge and burn and also remove those eye vessels for me. Now, they are doing 30% discount sales because it's Christmas and if you use the link in the description below, you are going to get 30% off any purchase you make and I highly recommend you get this plugin if you are making money as a retoucher or a photographer because this plugin is going to save you a lot of time and at the same time give you an amazing result. I literally use this plugin to retouch all my images. Okay, basically we are done. This is the before and this is the after. The before and the after. Now this plugin automatically removes the blemishes for me to my micro dodge ball like I said earlier. And let me show you how it actually works. Let me just delete this action and start from scratch so you can see how it works. So I'm going to delete it. Now the first one I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove the blemishes. So I'll come to my filter. I'll come to retouch on me and just click on heal right here. Once I click on heal, this plugin is just going to analyze my image and remove the blemishes for me. Okay, it has removed the blemishes automatically. So if I just zoom in, I just show you the front after you can see. This is the before and this is the after. And with this sensitivity right here, you can choose how much of the blemishes you want to remove and how much you want to keep like this. Okay. So I'm going to click on 100% and click on OK. Now let's do the micro dodge and burn. So I'm going to create a stamp visible layer. I press the Ctrl Shift Alternate E to create a stamp visible layer. Then I'll come to the filter again. I'll click on Retouch on Me and click on Dodge and Burn right here. Now instead of spending hours trying to do micro dodge and burn, this plugin is going to do micro dodge and burn for you. And at the same time, give you amazing results in seconds. All right. So it's just processed right now. And I'm just going to process three, two, one. <laughs> it has already processed. So if I just zoom in, you can see the before and after. And also with this blend option at the top, you can choose the amount of Dodger Bond you want. So if I take it all the way to 200, it's just going to do more intense micro Dodger Bond for me. So this is the before and this is the after. So I like it like this. I'm just going to click on apply right here on the soft light layer. So make sure soft light layer is selected and just click on apply right here. I'm just going to apply. Then come to your blend mode and change it from normal to soft light like this. All right. Now removing blemishes and doing micro dodge and bond is not all this retouch for me can do. There are different options for this retouch for me. There are options like clean backdrop, color match where you can actually match color, eye vessel to remove eye vessel, eye brilliance to whiten the eyes. Also have teeth whitening. We have skin tone where you can even match your skin tone and we have portrait volume which is global dodge and bond. Now I have a dedicated video about this retouch for me and I'll be leaving a link to that video in the below so you can learn how to actually use all the options inside this retouch for me to retouch your image. Now speaking of cleaning backdrop, let me just use this image right here to show you how 
the background cleanup actually works. So let me just create a stamp visible layer by pressing on Ctrl Shift Alternate E. And first of all, remove this part right here. Okay. Just remove this part because I don't want this part. All right. Now I'm going to create another stamp visible layer by pressing on Ctrl Shift Alternate E. And after I create a stamp visible layer, if I want to clean up this backdrop, all I have to do is come to Filter. Come to retouch on me and click on clean backdrop right here and this plugin will automatically clean the backdrop for me and the result is amazing and we have the option we have if you have a bigger um stains on the backdrop just click on this bigger portion if you have medium stain click on this medium if you have smaller stain click on this small option right here now see the before and the after the before and the after you can see it has automatically cleaned up this backdrop for us so what you're going to do is just click on apply right here and just going to apply that inside of Photoshop. Now, if I zoom in and show you the fine after the before and after, you can see it's affecting the shoe. I would really want that. So, if you want to remove it from places that it's not supposed to affect, all you have to do is create a layer mask. So, add a layer mask, pick your normal brush tool, make sure your foreground color is set to white, opacity 100, flow set to 100, and just remove it from any portion you don't want it to affect, like the shoe. Okay? So that's how this clean backdrop actually works. Now, I highly recommend you get any of this plugin I mentioned. Now, back to the Retouching Academy. If you want to learn and know how the Retouching Academy actually works, click on this playlist right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.